Egg tart. Originally, it is a dessert from China, which is a tart that tastes similar to custard. There are several versions of it from the Portuguese egg tart with the puff pastry crust to Hong Kong egg tart, which is the one I'm making today. The Hong Kong egg tart is made with short crust and is sweet custard egg center. So if you want to know how to make this dessert, keep watching and follow me. First, I'm going to make the crust. Get a clean bowl and add 100 grams of butter or about 3.5 ounces. By the way, if you're wondering, my butter is already at room temperature. Now I'm going to sift 200 grams of all-purpose flour, that's 7 ounce, and 65 grams of powdered sugar, or 2.3 ounce. I'm sifting it so I don't get a big lumps of flour and powdered sugar in my batter. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, that's about half a teaspoon, then mix it using a spoon. But you can go straight using your hand. It doesn't matter what you use, you want to mix it until it looks like grains of sand. It should look like this. Now go ahead and add one egg yolk and continue to mix the dough. I'm gonna use my hands this time. I wash my hands already and make sure they're clean. It might seem like it's hard to bind them together, but don't worry, they will. Keep kneading it until you can round it, but don't over mix it. Once it's done, let's transfer this to a cutting board. You can divide this several ways. If you want to make it quick like me, just grab a small portion and roll it like a ball. Also, you need to keep in mind your mold size. Mine has a top diameter of 3 inch and 1 inch in height. This dough will make about 10 egg tart crusts. Adjust it to the one you have. Before you put the dough in the pie mold, let's brush them with a little bit of butter. This is to make it easier to take out the egg tart later on. Please don't judge my brush. It's the only one I could find at the moment. But don't worry, this is a brand new brush. Take one of the rollout dough and put it in the mold. Now press it while spreading it evenly towards the wall of the mold. Keep pressing it until it covers all the sides and the bottom. You might want to make the top nice and neat without cracks in it. Be patient, it might take some time to get a clean look. Do this for the rest of them. The mold is done and ready, but you can step it up a notch. It's optional, but you can add this little line print on the crust. Just use a toothpick and press it in the middle of each curve. Do it all around. There's one more thing I want to add to this crust. Let's get a fork and stab the bottom of the pie a few times. Poke it all the way to the bottom of the mold so the crust doesn't rise up and creates a big bubble in the middle. When you're done, put it on a baking tray and bake it at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 minutes. It will make the crust have a nice brown color and also it will be cooked all the way through. This is what it looks like after 10 minutes. Get yourself a bowl and add 80 grams of powdered sugar or 2.8 ounce. Now I'm going to add one whole egg plus two egg yolks. Next, pour 200 ml of milk, two spoonful of condensed milk, a teaspoon of vanilla essence, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Mix it until the sugar dissolves and everything is mixed well. If you want it to be less sweet, just cut the sugar or add more if you want it sweeter. The filling is pretty easy to make, right? It's almost like custard but without the cooking part. All you have to do is mix the ingredients. When everything is well combined, you want to sift for impurity. You can do this two or three times if you have to. Make sure it's smooth with no lumps. Next, let's pour the egg and milk mixture to the baked crust. Pour about 80% to the top, leaving it a little bit of room so you don't spill it while putting it in the oven. Now I'm gonna bake the egg tart at 180 degrees Celsius or 360 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. When you take it out, the crust should become golden brown while the center has a shiny yellow color. If you look at it, it looks like sunflowers. Wait for about 10 minutes before taking it out of the mold or until it cools down. It's still fragile when it's hot and I don't want to break it while taking it out. It's not that hard to take it out of the mold. All you have to do is flip it. Sometimes you do get the one that's hard to take out, but you just need to wiggle it a bit and it should come out. Now it's ready to eat. This egg tart crust is crumbly and the inside is so soft. If you ever tried silky pudding or very soft tofu, the texture of the center is kind of like that. This Hong Kong egg tart is best eaten right away, but you can also store it in the chiller for up to 3 days. I'd have to say, cold egg tart is not bad, it's like eating pies or cold pudding. You can also reheat it in the microwave or in the oven just until it's warm enough. So how about it? Have you tried making Hong Kong egg tart? Comment below because I love to hear your story. I would rate this 9 for the taste and 7.6 for its simpleness to cook.